Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Palomino SS500. To get started, this camper is compatible on your compact trucks, such as a Toyota Tacoma or GMC Canyon. And on the outside, you'll notice we have the cool gray, high gloss exterior fiberglass. Um, the entrance door is a friction hinge door, so no door latches here. You simply open the door and it will stay right where you leave it. There is an integrated blind as well, so you can close that at nighttime for extra privacy. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. Uh, we do have a porch light with the on-off light switch on the outside. And this black box right up here, it is pre-wired for an observation camera. So what's neat with an observation camera is you can see behind you the entire time as you're traveling down the road. So if you have a boat or a trailer behind you, you can keep an eye on it and see what's going on. We do have the electric uh, roof lift system here and it is pre-wired if you ever wanted to add electric jacks to it you can change out the heads and add the electric jacks it's already pre-wired for that and so it does come with the manual jacks there's a crank here so you can crank them up and down or an adapter for a cordless screw gun you simply put this into your screw gun you can go around and run the jacks up and down that way on the side we have a 20 pound lp tank bottle and that will be filled by the outpost rv your refrigerator ventilation uh, two 110 outlets here. It is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. As we move around the front side here, um, you're going to notice that we have a 12 volt cutoff switch here so you can kill all 12 volt power to the battery. This little guy is just a hanger for the seven way cord so you can unplug that and hang it here so it's not just flopping around. It comes with a double sided seven way male, um, the seven way cord here. On the camper itself, the connection looks like exactly how it's gonna be on the back of your truck with the seven way round. So this cord plugs in here, will run all the way back and then plug into your truck. Uh, this is a sold camper already. This customer has added an outside battery tray. Um, that is an option that you can put on here as well. And as we move up front here, you'll notice that we have the black canvas going all the way around with the black front end, gives it a really sharp look. And we also have your emergency exit window over here. And then right underneath that is gonna be your fresh water connection. So that will allow you to fill your fresh water tank. Then you can use the water pump to utilize that water if you're dry camping or boondocking. And I would like to make a correction. I touched on that second battery tray. Uh, this is actually the Badlands package here. So there's three options you get with the Badlands package. You get the secondary battery tray, which is on the outside. It also comes with a 100 watt um, solar panel that is roof mounted and we're going to show you what that looks like right here. You'll notice it's a flush mount up top, gives it a really nice look and it also the third option is the Thule roof racks. So you can purchase kayak attachments, bicycle attachments, store those up top. And again that is the Badlands package. If you don't need the whole package you can actually get any of those options individually on another camper as well. In the back here, we have your furnace vent, on-demand water heater, which is gas, I'm sorry, yes, which is gas only, and uh, very efficient, only using gas when you're actually running hot water, about 60% or 60 more efficient than our gas electrics. In the back here, we have your hot and cold outside shower, and then also your city water connection up top. So if you're at a campground, you simply hook your water hose up right there, and that will pressurize the lines for you. And that concludes the exterior of our SS500 Badlands. Now we'll head to the inside. Before we move to the inside walkthrough, I want to demonstrate how uh, the vent fan can assist you in closing up the camper. So right now we have the vent fan turn on high above the bed. We've lowered the roof just a little bit and I'm gonna close this entrance door and you're gonna notice it creates a vacuum which helps to pull in the canvas. So when you're lowering the roof, that helps tuck everything in so none of the canvas gets pinched. So I'm gonna close the door Keep an eye up top and you'll see how it draws the canvas right in. As we move to the inside here, we'll try and just get a nice overview of the camper. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in here, especially given the fact that this is going on the back of a Toyota Tacoma or GMC Canyon. As we move to the inside, you'll notice that remote right there. That is going to run your roof up and down. And if you ever upgrade to electric jacks, that will also be the controller for the electric jacks as well. That uh, switch on the left there with the green light on, that has to be on. That is what gives power to that remote. 
and then you can just walk around and run the roof up and down with the remote. On the inside, we have an open storage hole, 110 outlet, and then your refrigerator as well. We're gonna have nice counter space right on top of that. On the other side of the entrance door is gonna be your kitchen area where your furnace is located. We also have some cargo netting down at the bottom for extra storage. And then up top, you're gonna to have your sink area as well as the two burner stove. And right in the middle as you enter is the dinette, night, excuse me, the dinette area, which will also turn into another sleeping area. Directly on that back wall behind the dinette is gonna be a window, which is a pass-through window. Underneath the dinette area, we have a 110 outlet. On the bottom left with the green light is gonna be your carbon monoxide detector. The black box in the middle is your breakers and fuses. And then on the right with the two red buttons is gonna be for your solar panel. So that is gonna be the limiter since there is solar on the camper. Up top here, we have your queen size mattress and that will run the full width up top here. Lots of room. Right up above that is gonna be that Max Air vent fan that we turned on to pull the canvas down. And I'd like to show you some extra storage that we have hanging from the top here. We have two on the left-hand side. What's nice with those is you can unhook those, take them inside, load them up, and then bring them back out. And there's actually three vents total in this camper. There is another 12-volt fan with a smaller fan in the very back, and then a regular style vent right in the middle. And as we spin around here, I would also like to point out with the canvas, you can have it where it's darkened out just like that or you can actually roll up the darkening fabric and have it like a window. And you can also unzip that plexiglass and have it screened all the way around. So lots of airflow in this camper here. On the other side above the little kitchen area, we have some more hanging storage. Here's a, a nice overview with your single bowl sink and your two burner stove top which will also double as counter space if you're not cooking at that point in time. And that will conclude the walkthrough of our SS500. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you and have a great day.